What's going on, lovebird? Word on the street is you're quite the catch. I'm sure with so many options for... Given your sheer animal magnitude, you're a little overwhelmed. Not to worry, boo-boo. I can help. For this Valentine season, I'll be telling you who's worth your time, your care, your passion, and who isn't, using the ancient art of Smash or Pass. What do you mean it's June? Well, why the fu- Now, some people think I'm unqualified, because I have a tendency to go oonga boonga at any woman in proximity. To the point that my eyes turn into binoculars, my heart catapults 10 feet out of my chest, and I feel compulsed to bash my head in with a mallet. It's a serious condition and I am in critical financial debt due to the frequent hospital visits. But I stopped carrying a mallet around in my pocket, so I should be fine. But what about the men, you're thinking? Surely I wouldn't pass passing judgement for our testosterone lovers out there because of my preferences, right? Oh, you handsome, handsome and or beautiful court jester and professional fool. Of course I wouldn't. I can acknowledge a fellow chat when I see one, and recommend the smash. That, and I need to pad the runtime with every character anyway, because again, I need that sweet sweet revenue, financial debt and all. What about characters that are underaged? Well, my dear beloved viewer, I'm simply willing to go to prison for your precious content. Anything for the memes. First, let's start with the street level characters. Because you're more likely to run into Spider-Man than you are the Silver Surfer. All you have to do is get mugged! Speaking of Spider-Man, you could probably get pretty freaky with wall crawling. I feel he needs way too much aftercare. Especially if you did Peter before him. That is a barnyard animal. Don't necessarily feel like pulling a Wonder Woman 2. Miles Morales. Just like the original Spider-Man, but now even more powers to get kinky with. Already in a serious relationship with a parasite. I mean, this guy's okay, but I want a party with this guy. Yes, 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 yes. This one has fangs. I'm pretty sure he would kill me afterwards. Sleek, stylish, now this is a superhero costume. And in terms of smashability, same reasons as dear old dad. This is like a 5 for 1 deal and I do not have enough time to care for Steven, Mark, and Jake. Hey yo, what that Charlie Cox do? This man is trying to win me over with 90s nostalgia factor, and it's working. This one is possessed by a devil. He'll probably put a little devil in you. Wanting this cat burglar to steal your jewels is a coming of age rite of passage if you're a Spider-Man fan. He will steal kill and finish the mission too early and be so oblivious to not realize that that is a problem. But this one can punish me anytime. Too much work to make him feel anything. The clue is in the name! Dang, Skippy. I can tell by that fire in your eyes you're ready for more. You're gonna take this world by storm. It's time to get into the big leagues. Fuck Hank Pym. All my homies hate Hank Pym. I think getting hotter the madder you are is just a euphemism for chlamydia. What the fuck are you wearing? Finally, it's a good fucking drip. I'm sorry, I thought we were having a private moment. Why are you calling in the Avengers? Are, are they supposed to fuck me for you? A rotating door of robotic clones that look like you isn't the answer either, Nick. I want you to be present. You had me at Russian accent. What, what happened to it? It's gone. <laughs> Yo, what that arm do, though? But what that Ankylosaurus head do? What that pterodactyl feet do, though? 
Look, man, I get it. I understand. You want it? I want it? It's not gonna happen. You think you can interrupt this man's Sigma grind? No! He's an Avenger, he's an accomplished actor, he is too busy for you. Your character model was made in 2014. Why does your uncanny valley looking ass look just a few pixels removed from Hagrid? I would say Flash is already in a committed relationship with a parasite, but this one feels more like an open thing. <laughs> Good luck getting him out of the house. Why do writers give attractive pheromone type powers to characters that clearly don't need them? What the fuck are you wearing? The voice direction for this character is so god awful that I don't care that it's Tom Kenny. I hope he never gets work again. There's just such a sense of humility from a rich guy dressing as a trash can that I find real endearing. Uh, I don't have a joke for this one. This is the thickest character in the game. Ugh, Mr. Rogers, I almost forgot that that suit did nothing for your ass. Cardinal sin of voicing Black Panther and not giving him an African accent aside, Without it, he just lacks a sense of nobility that really gets my gears turning. Why don't you use some of your money to help rebuild the neighborhood instead of putting spinning rims on a gold jet ski? Yeah, I'm down for some kinky peekaboo. I imagine he got the title of Ever Lovin' for a reason. I admire how he has very realistic and achievable goals for himself, like fix literally everything. Okay, it's neither of those things, but it's still real endearing that he's trying so hard. Oh, that's hot. That's hot. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 What? You didn't see that coming? He's definitely the type to hide under a bed for three hours so he can scare the shit out of you instead of doing anything productive around the house. Think about it, it wouldn't matter if the flip side of your pillow was cool or not anymore. Those Hydra agents knew full well they were about to get their asses kicked in that elevator, and they didn't stay because they loved their jobs. Any time spent with this hunk of meat is time well spent. What the fuck are you wearing? Hell yeah, baby, sign me up for the Mile High Club. I would if I could, but he's been DEAD SINCE 2006! I'm not a big fan of surprises, especially if that surprise is most likely going to be a hand grenade. No! I don't want your vagina candles, you batshit crazy bitch! Excuse me? Mommy? Sorry. Mommy? Sorry. You're torn apart by a light breeze. I don't think you can handle a night in the sack. I'm sorry if I have to be the one to tell you this, but if the first light scene doesn't turn you on, then you're asexual. The clue is in the name. Now I love confidence, but the argument could be made that anyone that would confidently wear roller skates despite being able to fly in 2020 is a little too confident. Take off the suit. Let's go a few rounds. Yes! Janet deserves so much better than what she's been given. Like, I am obligated to treat her out. Instead of googling, does Vision have a penis, I'm just going to assume that he doesn't, because I've never seen it, so we can't. The unbeatable Squirrel Girl can beat me anytime she wants. See that you're only interested in the exceptionally rare. Be it from outer space or even from another dimension, or just a little bit different than the typical human, we've got it. Let's take a look at some of these extraordinary options. What the fuck are you wearing? 
Sir, you haven't been relevant since the 70s. What the fuck are you doing in a game from 2011? If you touch this barnyard, bitch, you will die. Yes, Warren, I agree. CrossFit is amazing. Now, can we please talk about something else, you Chaz from the gym looking motherfucker? Look, man, you're just a little too upfront with your daddy issues. I don't have anything against him, but I have never and will never call Sam Nova. He just lacks a certain something for me. But this Nova literally pulls bitches with a black hole. It's not simping to worship someone that is literally considered to be a goddess. One canary I don't want to make sing. If you ever need someone vocally gifted, don't get Vicky from the Fairy Odd Parents. Given the inferiority complex from living in his brother's shadow for so long, on top of mommy and daddy issues, he definitely has a praise kink. And I am just not gifted enough in words while in Pound Town to give him what he wants to hear. And yes, I did put Loki here instead of with the rest of the villains. He hasn't been a straight up bad guy since 2010 and I am going to acknowledge that progress. Odin's beard! Those beards are luscious! I don't care much for Wonderwall, and since you're playing it on your guitar instead of fighting the boss, I don't much care for you either. Dude, like, freaking bro, like your totally tubular and radical vocabulary has been dated since the fucking 90s. He tries very hard to come off like a bad guy, but in reality, he's probably so naive, it hasn't even occurred to him to use those space rocks to fuck. Is the techno-organic virus just future STDs? Yeah, okay, you should really be more transparent about that. I'm not saying I want to be annihilated in the most literal sense in bed, or that I have a thing for knife play, but I will point out that Wolverine has stabbed someone in his bed at least four times. I want to give this one extra points for actually having rendered arm hair, but I'm actually a little bit concerned that I would get carpet burn. While I was busy picking the perfect waifus from this game, this Wolverine was busy studying the blade. Far too busy for little old me. When I said I wanted drained, this isn't exactly what I meant, but I'll take it. Oh my god, he's so goddamn cool! The lack of boundaries, or self-awareness that she is constantly violating boundaries, the fact that no one calls her out on it! Th this is not a joke, this genuinely frustrates me. Quit poking in people's heads for fun! Privacy should not be a holy human concept that is just not a thing in the X-Mansion. She's clearly waiting for marriage, and I'll respect that. This is not the White Queen's first rodeo. And frankly, I'm excited. Teach me your ways with your vastly superior experience. I'm sorry, I'd rather not hard boil my soul over every sin I've ever committed just because I like eye contact. This piece of shit could not tell you where his family is even if his telepathic wife live streamed it to his brain. Cause he's too busy banging other telepaths. Listen here, Sparky. Sex sells. There's a reason why Star-Lord is the first guy to have a montage. I'm pretty sure that would make me a furry. But at the same time, he's very gifted with his feet. Now that would definitely make me a furry. At the same time, he has all this unique technology at his disposal. Should I be concerned about the portal on the headboard with tentacles crawling out of it? Meh, fuck it. It's not simping, it's respecting power, and this woman can jump from five-story buildings and land on her tippy toes. I'm not saying I want my head absolutely fractured, but she could definitely do so. The only Thor in the game to use his hammer correctly. You gotta wonder where else this might apply. 
Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Originally, this would have been a pass. But ever since he's gotten some dick, it also came with personality other than tryhard. Of course you brought the spider. Of course you did. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Get that shit out of here. You don't have to have dick to get it. And Colossus definitely gets it. Wait, no, shit. Didn't I just say I wouldn't smash Vision because he doesn't have a dick? Fuck. Okay, no one will notice. Just shh, shh, stay quiet. Shuffling cards all day has got to make you good with your hands. Also, his nickname is The Raging Cajun. How do you suppose he got that? In this video, I've made myself out to be a simp, a furry, and even a pedophile. But I draw the line at necrophilia, Mr. Decayed Flesh. Dirty Dog's fine, just don't be so repetitive. Think of something else other than I am Groot. The bland ass generic werewolf character is probably so vanilla they call his sex extract. Honestly? My oblivious ass wouldn't mind someone who never speaks in innuendos or figure of speeches. Bro, imagine getting blue balled because your girl clipped through the floor. I find you very gross. Just look at you. I mean, you look like you're perpetually wet. You look moist, is what I'm saying. In fact, you look like the personification of the word moist. If a summer camp child said the word moist three times in the mirror, you would appear behind them. You look like infected gums. You look like you piss ink. You kind of look like 1980s Michael Jackson just got back from a filthy clamming expedition. God, those gross hands. It's like shaking a foot. One time you gave me a back rub. It felt like a pterodactyl had perched on my shoulders. It was gross and I was more tense at the end of it. When you teleport, it smells very bad. It smells like a fat kid running around in the summer ate like about 35 deviled eggs and then took a hot shit in a warm pool. It smells like someone turned on a crock pot and filled it with Campbell's clam chowder and about three rolls of dirty penny. Your teleportation fumes smell like Angela Lansbury, an older woman, dressed up in all leather, slept in a sleeping bag in a room with no windows or doors in August, and then had diarrhea from too much Sizzler buffet. Smells like the Predator's dreadlocks. Smells like Mario Batali's body cast. Or my aunt's purse filled with blue-green algae. Your family is literally a dynasty of tactical geniuses. How are you fucking it up this bad? Come on, TJ, you unimaginative fuck. You have to think of something creative, something witty, something funny. You can't just say it's because they'll kill you. You've used that as a reason too much already. If you keep going like this, everyone's gonna know you have a femme fatale kink. So that's it for this otherworldly, other dimensionally outer space section. Um, I completely forgot about War Machine accidentally in the last section with the rest of the Avengers. So we're just gonna do them now, sorry. In my defense, overlooking Rhodey is just the status quo. His team, his best friend, they all do it. There have been several candidates to take up the mantle of Iron Man, and he's only received it like once. They changed his face in the MCU and no one batted a fucking eye. And has he ever once bitched or complained about this? No, surprisingly not. You will not find a more patient man in all of Marvel Comics. Alright guys, and with that oopsie cleared up, we're gonna go ahead and wrap up. What? The villains? Ooh, you naughty, naughty! <laughs> okay! Oh yeah, the cold, unfeeling machine is perfect for the activity commonly referred to as lovemaking. She probably gyrates as stupidly as she walks. My god, could he be any more of a snob? His- Oh, I am a better symbiote than the rest of them because mine comes from my white blood cells and I'm gonna cure the world. Get fucked. Did you know that the Carnage symbiote bonded to Cletus's blood and not his body? 
Hmm, of course you did, you true believer, you. Did you also know that a bloodhound is used as a term to refer to someone who not only doesn't mind when someone is on their period, but also kind of enjoys that? So, uh, yeah, anyway, um, bark, bark, wolf, wolf. Imagine smelling so bad that an elite team of superheroes prioritizes taking your ass down over the guys who constantly warp all of reality. When the place we keep our shit gets noticeably smellier somehow, would you go down there? It might be time to break out the soap. Quite literally a shell of a man. Jean Grey normally would expose my innermost secrets to everyone around her. Dark Phoenix would expose it to the entire world on her blog or some shit. That being said, step on me. Mommy, why are you angry? If it ain't Defoe, it's gots to go. TJ finds that Doom's manner of speaking is very annoying and self-centered to TJ. TJ will not be smashing him today. Why do writers give characters the ability to alter anything they want about their appearance when it is already perfect by default? I don't like sand. It's coarse and rough and irritating. And it gets everywhere. Too much work to make him feel anything. Hey, no judgment here. A lot of old married couples like to get a third to kind of spice things up. Not for me, though. He can copy any move just by looking at it. Senpai is too busy romancing his brother. Senpai is too busy romancing his ideological opposite. Senpai is too busy romancing a bone lady who has already spoken for. Senpai is too busy romancing his capitalist counterpart. The daddy issues are strong with this one. You don't bring the annihilation wave with you everywhere, right? You've heard of the shocker, right? <laughs> no, not the villain. He's literally just a Fantastic Four bundle pack. I do it for money. Didn't you just have a show that highlights how bad of a husband and father you are? Your treadmill of a story has bored me to the point that I fall asleep when I look at you. No, God! No, God, please, no! Goth girlfriend says I am disowned if I say no on this. You could probably get pretty kinky with the tentacles. I do not trust a master of sleight of hand to not put something in my drink. I keep forgetting that you exist. The guy who asks who Star-Lord is at the beginning of the movie is more memorable than you were. Whew. Took a couple hours, but I finally got them all parked. OH FUCK!